From 2008 to 2012, I was a bad boy. I was a very, very bad boy. That was the season I just got into the university. I was free from my parents' influence. I was free from my parents' guidance. I was living by myself. I was living in a free world where there was, you know, nobody knew me. I met new friends. I started going after ladies. I started smoking. That was when the, that was the first time I smoked weed. That was the period, the period when I started, you know, chasing after women. So I was just a bad boy. So during that season, it formed a lot of things about myself and my mindset. And this went on for a long time. I was just going after women, going after ladies. In short, it was, it was as I said, I was a bad boy. But this went on until 2012. So in 2012, that was when I received Christ and I was baptized with the Holy Ghost. But I noticed something. Despite the fact that I received Christ and I was saved and I had a heart now to go after God, to love God, I realized that my thoughts did not change. I would see a lady then. Then I was, I, I was working at a place where I had access to see people passing. So I would see a lady pass them with short skirt, despite the fact that I just finished praying. And, you know, I, I just, sometimes I even, while going for evangelism, I can just see a lady passing with a short skirt. And immediately, it will trigger a thought in my mind. I will just remember something that happened within that 2008 and 2012. And I would get so upset. I was like, how can I be thinking something like this? Sometimes I can be on the internet and I will see a pattern or I will see a picture. And in, in that picture, they will write something like, um, only... Only legends will understand this picture. And when I look at the picture, I will understand the picture. I say, oh my God, why do I understand this picture? Why? Why, God? And I started to wonder why I thought I was saved. Why is it that I can still feel some certain things, see some certain things, and it triggers some certain memory? But then I realized that when I got saved, only my spirit man was reborn. But my mind and my body was still the same. A lot of times, you see a lot of people, they'll feel like, oh, why is it that I'm saved, but I'm still thinking some kind of thoughts. I'm saved, I'm still desiring some certain things. I'm a Christian, but I still want to have sex. I'm a Christian, but I still want to do this. I still want to do that. I'm a Christian, why am I having some thoughts? That's why I'm sharing this story with you today. That It's normal. You, for the fact that you've gotten saved, for the fact that you have received the Holy Ghost, your spirit man is now renewed. You're now a new person in Christ. But your mind and your body is still the same. And that is why Apostle Paul gave us two instructions. Two. One, he says that you should renew your mind. You should be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Meaning you have to give yourself to the Word of God. You need to start to change those thought patterns by putting in some new information, spending time in the Word of God, listening to sermon. As you're doing this, your thought structure is changing. Your thought pattern is changing. Your mind is being renewed. Your mind is being transformed. The way you think, the way you see life, things are changing. And two, which is very important, you have to learn to bring your body into subjection. To subject your body to your spirit. Remember, it's your spirit's man that changed. It's your spirit man that became new. But your body and your mind is the same. But now you have to learn to bring your body to obey your spirit man. Before you are ruled by your body. But now you have to be ruled by your spirit man. And that is a decision. Apostle Paul said something. Apostle Paul said that I bring my body into subjection. So that... Not after I have preached to everybody, then I myself will be a castaway. Why did Apostle Paul say that? It means that even Apostle Paul had thoughts or desires that he had that he knew that they were not godly. And he knew that I had to subdue this, my body, to my spirit. Or else, if I allow this, my body rule me, <laughs> I'll be a bad apostle. <laughs> so, this happens to every one of us. Every one of us, even me, myself, as I am like this, I still have blood flowing through my body. I can see some. That's why what I do on social media these days, I unfollow some people. I, I recently, a friend of mine recently saw someone I know that we both know together. She realized that I've stopped following the person. And she asked me why. I said, because what she posts makes me, you know, think some certain things that I'm not supposed to be thinking as a God bad guy <laughs> or, or as a Christian, not just the God bad guy. So I had to follow her just for my mind. So that's what we have to do. We must learn to bring our bodies to subjection. One, you must learn to transform your mind. So if you're a Christian, if you're a believer, don't begin to question your salvation. 
to question if you're truly saved because of the thoughts that are coming to your mind or because of you still want to knock. Yes, for those that are not Nigerians that don't understand what that means. For the fact that you are a Christian doesn't mean that you will not still have those desires to want to have sex. But you have be, the Bible says that you, you sin no longer has dominion over you. As you have received Christ, sin no longer has dominion over you. Meaning you have been given the power now to subdue your body. Before you didn't have the power, you didn't have the grace to do that. But now you have been given the power to be able to subdue your body to your spirit man. So the Bible says that grace gives you the power to say no. So now you can say no. You must identify that you are a spirit that has a body you are a spirit that has a soul living in a body you are not your desires you are not your body you are living in this body so you are, for the fact that your body is feeling those things or desiring those things does not mean that is who you are so you must put it just like a child a child that sits that goes outside and wants to that sees a candy and wants to buy every candy you should learn to tell that child no not today it's not every desire that your body feels that you have that's why you must learn to subdue your body you must learn to say no and you must renew your mind with the word of god i hope that helps you